So I'm going to bring on Chris from LAX. Chris, come on here and sit down on the uh, on the live stream. Hey, Terrence, how you doing? Sofa. How's it going, Hey, man? thanks so much for inviting us out, and Absolutely. I greatly appreciate uh, what you guys have done to support us, and I can't believe uh, just the two years of having your products has changed our business model and how we do things at our really? store. Really? Yeah. Well, that's, that's super cool. I can't, I can't thank you enough for putting together an aquarium um, at Macna that just blew everybody away. I mean... I get goosebumps even thinking yeah. about it. it. It was amazing. Um, uh, I mean, we started out with a great aquarium, in my opinion, that we, we kind of, you know, thought about how we're going to do like an amazing looking aquarium, right? Yes. And we, we talked to uh, Crystal Dynamic and said, build us a 42 by 42 by 24. We wanted to go 48, but it was going to take up like too much of the booth. So we went to 42, center overflow. Um, if you guys haven't seen it, it's out there on you know the, all of the Reefa Palooza uh, videos and stuff. Oh yeah. And then we said, okay, we got to have somebody put this thing together. We're going to be in Vegas. What are we going to do? Um, we have stores in Vegas, um, but none of them were really set up to to make a wow out of it. So I went and talked to Chris, and Chris said, "Going to do it." Yes. So let's get into some of the details of of that aquarium just a little bit. Okay. We, we did it here as well. Yes. Um, and we're going to talk about the one we did here because it was pretty crazy what happened yesterday yeah um, so what rock are we using in there so right now we're using a manufactured rock uh, from real reef manufacturing awesome. uh, one of our biggest supporters within live rock uh, saving one piece of the reef at a time um, they make three amazing products from a base rock to a shelf rock to a branching rock it's really cool stuff um, I use it in my personal aquarium um, you know, Gareth over there is, uh, you know, does some amazing stuff with that rock. They've got some new, I guess, new branch stuff. Hopefully, I'm going to get him on the sofa tomorrow to talk yeah. about his, uh, to talk about his rock. Um, so, like, when you put it together, is there any secrets that you can give people of what you did? Because the aquascaping was amazing. Yeah, absolutely. So, are we talking about Macna? Or are we talking about? Well, here? let's start with Macna. Okay. So, in regards to the way we set things up, um, you know. I'm pretty creative at how I do things. So obviously when you set up a tank, it goes sand, rock, water. That's just a typical way you do things. That's exactly how we did it at the show. We laid everything out. We put the sand in. From there, I put my music in my headphones. I He's all zoned about the music. I zoned everybody else out. I kind of went into it. I had my chisel, my, my, uh, my hammer. And obviously the tank is a gorgeous tank, but some of the rock is a little big. So I chipped away at a little here, chipped away a little here, spent about a good 45 minutes getting it all put together. And then I took a little bit of core fix glue, not too much, just to dab a little here to make sure that we weren't going to have any type of structures fall because uh, I believe we brought about $30,000 worth of coral to that show. We're going to get to that in a second. And the, you know, the, the aquascaping was challenging because it is 360 degrees. Yeah. So you, you just... Every every angle has to look good. Yes, that is correct. So that up. so as I as I build the, the the tank, I start off with platforms. You know, I kind of figure out if I was a fish, what would I want to do? Because I I mean, it's like your home. You build your home. You want to walk around your home. You build your kids' playroom. Right, you want right. them to have fun with it. Right, so right. in an aquarium, you want to have caves. You want to have areas where they could hide and they could play. You want areas where you could put your corals on a nice shelf or having them branch That's out. That's a good segue. So the, the corals. Um, you know, it's very challenging at a trade show to, to set one of these up and to bring corals in. And, and it's a huge risk for him and his business. Yes. And that's why we, you know, we appreciate him doing it because he, he just brought in some amazing corals for Magda. And we're not talking about like frags. We're talking about, you know, mucids, brain corals that, oh, yeah. giant brain corals that come in. And so when he talks about having to have a shelf there, this is exactly right. You, you, so important. You, you have to have a place to showcase these amazing, amazing corals. So how long did you like? Because I know you were saving up corals for our yeah, thing. How yeah. long did you save them up in your in your holding tank? So uh, I was picking for Macna because I understand how Macna is. Reefa Blues is an amazing show, but Macna is like the epic of the the North American shows of the year. Everybody who's anybody goes to these shows. They want to see nothing but the best, and that's what we brought. It was nothing but the best. I was collecting for over a month. When he says collecting, he's not going out with scuba gear. Yeah. He's going to all the wholesalers because. Where he is here in LA is where everything in the world yep. pretty much comes into. So he is able to cherry pick. He does I, have a secret. I cherry Don't pick. even try to get that out of him. I'm not even going <laughs> to try to go there because that is like the secrets of it's secrets. It's like my West Coast Connect. <laughs> yes, exactly. So, so yeah, I pretty much cherry picked everything. You know, I know a lot of the people in the industry. My dad's been doing this since the 70s. I've been doing this since I was pretty much born. You know, when these shipments come in, 
I spend thousands to tens of thousands of dollars with these guys. They let me go in first. I come in sometimes hours after it arrives, the night before they, they the night they open them up, and so I everybody look. Everybody else in the country is sad. That's basically yeah, what yeah. you're saying. I mean, yeah, I mean, they have the so opportunity. So his, his store, LAX Aquarium, is literally like behind the alley from where all of these things come in. And I encourage anybody who comes to LA, if you're coming even um, on a trip or a vacation or whatever, you're going to get dropped off in LAX. You're going to drive out on Century Boulevard and you're going to drive right past the store, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. And, and make it one of the stops, you know. Give yourself a couple of hours before you have to leave. Maybe you find some jewels at a store and bring them home. Yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah home. we'll definitely, uh, if, if anybody wants to do anything like that, Obviously, we'll pack it in a styro with a cardboard and then, you know, put a heat pack in there, put it underneath your carry-on just to make sure it's good. But when we have customers come in, they come in from all around the world. You know, we just, you know, check with the local laws and then, and then you know, check it out. And most of the time, they start small and then they keep coming back for more. Okay, so back to the tank. Yeah. So how many corals did we have in there? It, I mean, if you just had a rough count, how many corals? I would probably say we had a little over 200 plus corals in there. Okay. And then now we're talking about the fish, oh, yeah. right? Because uh, you know, one of the requirements I always have when I talk to any of these stores in various cities, when we go to an event and say, hey, "Look, I want you to set up a tank," people want to see stuff move in the corals, okay, and then they want to see fish that are mm -hmm. moving and swimming around and everything. Um, and and again, it costs money because you you know you do have some loss, you do have a lot of risk, and you do have a lot of work to get them to the event and back from the event. Um, what kind of fish did we have? So so obviously, you I know you love clownfish. <laughs> So uh, we had Sea and Reef, we talked with them, and uh, we had uh, 158 designer clowns. We wow. had a little These over... These things cost what usually, retail? Uh, anywhere between $25 to $400 a piece. So just right there, you had maybe between five to $10,000 in clownfish. At fish. least, at least. Uh, and then we had another company that uh, actually was making their way to the show too, that brought in, uh, I'd probably say, you know, you got your Bangai Cardinals, you got your Dottie Backs, uh, you have your your sand gobies. You got uh, you your blennies. There, right? You got tangs, uh, blue yeah. tangs, uh, one purple tang. I mean, just a, 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 a rasses. We had a couple. Of oh flame my gosh! Yeah, flame there. rass. There was a a female and a, I think it was a female flame rass from Hawaii, yeah. specially picked out for one for, of your employees. Yeah, for Vincent actually, yeah. uh, who's our our Western United States sales uh, manager. I uh, used to work in support. He's also a fish geek. All of us at the company really are. Uh, fish geeks. So then we lit that with the, the lighting from the AI Primes yep. that are working on IOTA, um, as well as the uh, Radions, Radion yep. Pro G4. Uh, had that over it. Um, had our whole panel. We had the Trident out front. So oh, yeah. it was it was a great, great tank. Um, uh, and so we brought that back from Vegas and yep. then decided we we're going to have it here at Reef of Palooza. Yes. Um, due to some travel, freeway traffic, whatever, we had a, a little bit of a, a hiccup yesterday with uh, the, the tank delivery, but we got it done. With the grace of God, uh, it, it got here. Yeah. We set it up. The location was, uh, was kind enough to make it happen, and uh, we spent about an hour and a half getting everything set, another so hour of acclimation. So oh, basically, yeah. the, the tank was supposed to be here for... We're supposed to be out of here at seven. Three hours is already cutting it really tight to set up this entire aquarium. Um, and, you know, Chris had all of his stuff ready to go. You know, way before four, he's like, he's the kind of guy who's like, I need to go, I need to go. Um, <laughs> and uh, and but it wasn't here, it wasn't here, it wasn't here, it wasn't here. Finally gets here. I don't know. It was somewhere around what seven thirty, eight o'clock. Seven thirty, yeah. Okay, so we get it here seven thirty, eight o'clock. We had to work with the entire people here just to let us set this thing that up. That is correct, yeah. They okay. were they're gracious enough to, to be here. And then Chris went to work and set up this aquarium from that time in, what, two hours? Uh, an hour and a half. We had sand, rock, and water, landscape, ready to go, and then we were just waiting for acclimation. Right. Temperature and... And that that's something, too. We're, this is not one of these operations where it's fill and dump, okay? Chris actually does, you know, put the, he's got a whole science to the way he puts these additives in to give the bacteria yep. in the water. The sand is all cleaned ahead of time, oh, right? Yeah, yeah it, it took uh, about three and a half hours <laughs> to yeah. clean the sand at full blast with, with the... <laughs> right, so yeah. it's he, he's got all these little secrets that he does to, to, to get it there. And so we were able to get them safely into the aquarium. That is correct. Water's clear. It's crystal. Fish are swimming all around everywhere. Hopefully, uh, you know, I'll do a live stream from my um, from my iPhone uh, before the end of this conference. So I'll let you guys see it uh, firsthand again yourselves, and I'm sure other people are going to look at it. Um, so anyway, it's been a great, great thing. So talk about the Apex stuff. So you're you're like 
West Coast, like our key apex dealer. In Los Angeles, we are, absolutely, I love it. So what's the secret to that? I mean, we've probably got other local fish stores out there. Is it staff, is it stocking the product? How, do, how are you so successful and what do you do for your customers? So one thing about your product is that it gives everybody a peace of mind. It gives people tank protection. It lets them know that if there's an issue, it could become a minimal issue if you take care of it, or it could be a disaster if you don't know about it. Right. So obviously, you know, everybody knows, if they don't know about your product, check it out. <laughs> right. You know, that's the main thing. Everybody got if, to if, if, that Yeah, if, if they know about the product, you know. But communicating that sometimes communicating to, it, yeah. to customers, right? I, I know all of you guys out there who are control freaks, you already got your apexes and whatnot. So many of you write in and tell me, man, why did I wait so long? Man, why did I, you know, why, why wasn't I listening to this guy or that guy? Um, you know, how do you do it in your store? How do you get that communication across to them so that they can protect their aquarium? Absolutely. So I have trained our staff with uh, your, the help of your trainees coming in. We have one of our displays with pretty much everything set up. Uh, we have a full array of Apex aligned from, from your probes all the way up to your, your Apex systems. We carry probably about three or four sets of everything. So we're fully stocked. Next thing is is getting them There's to play with it. There's nothing worse for a customer, right? Yeah. To walk into a store, you, you get in your car, you drive down, you want to go get a feeder or whatever, yep. and you walk into the store and they don't have it. Yeah, it, that's you know? difficult. And yeah. It's like if you're a store, and it, 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 to me, you know, it's like if you're worried about online business, you know, taking your business, which a lot of stores are, True. and and have it in stock, right? That is true. Well, in this case, you know, if you buy it online or you buy it in the store, it's the same price. Oh, that's so, it. So, so, I mean, they can come in the store. Right. They can, they can, we can show them exactly how to use it. We could tell them how to do it. But exactly. most of the time, when we sell an aquarium, we show them Neptune first. Right. Because we want them to say, hey, if you've never been in this hobby, this would be a great way to go about your business. So you know that when you go on vacation, you know what's going on. You want to feed your fish. You want to make sure there's enough water in there. You want to know that your 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 temperature, your your heater. You know how many times I've had customers that say my heater crashed my tank. Right. A fifty dollar heater. Oh yeah, no. I no, mean, no, ima imagine. It all yeah. The time. Your system prevents that. Right. You know, right. as long as it's programmed. Or the, or the air conditioning. Yeah. Or whatever. Else. Or the chiller just. just no it, doubt. It, 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 it controls everything. So I mean. Well, so it's staff. I mean, having staff, trained yeah. staff. Yeah, having so, staff. I mean, for you guys that are here in the you know in the in the Southern California area. If you do have Apex questions and you do want somebody to give you a demo and you do want to be able to go down and just pick something up, you know, because you, you need it on a whim, you want to go see the stuff live or whatever, definitely head out to LAX Aquarium. Absolutely, we have it. Because um, they've got it all. they got all the livestock. If the stuff you see in the tank here is the same stuff they have in their store. Oh, yeah. Um, it's definitely the place to go. I really appreciate you, Chris, coming by, talking no, to us. thank you, Terrence. More, more so appreciate what you've done on the aquariums. Well, we appreciate your and, support uh, as well. We're, we're going we're gonna to keep working together as a team. It's a collab. All right, Thank man. you so Take much. Care. Have Take a good care. night. Thanks. Appreciate it.